devastating new details tonight on a New Year's Eve crash that took the life of a father and daughter. That's right. KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk now. Mike, what are investigators saying tonight? Yeah, Juan and Susie, this happened just before midnight on New Year's Eve. There were four people in this car, a father, his daughter, and her two children. Unfortunately, we now know that the mother in this crash has also died, bringing the death count to three. The detectives had a press conference today about this whole ordeal, and they talked about just how fast the suspect was going. They say the suspect was actually involved in a crash just moments before this one, in which he fled from that crash, bolted westbound on surface streets at double the speed limit. There was a security camera in the area that actually caught it. I want you to listen to the speed of this car. That second car you see there was a car that was actually chasing the first car, uh, the victims of the first crash. They ultimately came to an intersection here. They crashed into that family of four T-boning them. Now, the detectives say that the four, family of four is from Colombia. They have no family here. Now three of them are dead, leaving a one-year-old little girl fighting for her life in the hospital. Today, the detective talked about how they were trying to reach the family members from there. Uh, I want you to listen to what he has to say about the driver and the charges he's facing. This guy's actually looking at murder. For what he did, the way he was driving from all the witness accounts, um, he's really, this is, this is basically a murder. You can't, you can't drive two, three times the speed limit through city streets, running red lights and stop signs just because you feel like it or you're trying to get away from a crime you committed. Yeah, now Juan and Susie, that detective is from LAPD South Traffic Division. He says that the night they had to respond to this call, they actually had to split their teams in half and send a second team to a different deadly hit and run crash. All of these things, he says, are avoidable. Mike, thank you very much.